Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about unidirectional diode gates to accommodate more than one input signal. In the previous video we have seen a diode with a single capacitor and single resistor thereby we are having a load resistor and then we are taking the output voltage across that resistor. That was a small construction which is used to transmit the input signal to the output whenever the diode is coming into the on state. Okay, so that was called as unidirectional diode gate. The previous diagram what we have seen was a unidirectional sampling gate or we can say also call it as a unidirectional diode gate. Because why it is unidirectional, we are transmitting the signal in only one direction. We are transmitting the signal in only one polarity we can say. Okay, suppose if you are transmitting, a, if you are taking the diode in forward bias condition, then the diode comes into on when it is positive and the other one is negative or it is having lesser voltage than this one. Then the diode comes into on state. Okay. That means it, it is able to transmit only positive voltages. Suppose if you are connecting the diode in the reverse direction, then it may be used to transmit the signal which is in the negative polarity. So in the first case, we can able to transmit positive polarity. In the second case, we can able to transmit only negative polarity. That's why only unidirection is there in the output. Either it may be in the positive or it may be in the negative. That depends upon the connection of the diode. Polarities of the diode. Polarities we can say direction of the diode. Okay, P type and N type or N type and P type. Depends on that. Now, in the previous unidirectional sampling gate where we have seen, there we could able to transmit only one signal okay there we have given only one input signal and one control signal control signal is a timing signal or a gating signal that is used to switch on this diode the same concept is going to be extended by accommodating more than one input signal by accommodating more than one input signal so 2r 2r more number of 2R more number of input signals can be transmitted 2R more number of input signals can be transmitted using this unidirectional diode gates okay so, uh, how we can uh, accommodate how we can we could able to transmit more than one input signal that depends upon the type of the construction we are using how many number of input signals are there that many diodes we are going to use okay each input will be applied to one diode okay number of inputs equal to number of inputs is equal to number of diodes is equal to number of diodes see here this is the construction of what i have given the introduction in the previous slide unidirectional diode gate see this is signal 1 like vs1 and this is signal 2 vs2 where we are giving the input signals to be transmitted through the diodes diodes d1 and d2 see here two number of two input voltages are there that's why two diodes are there okay along with these diodes and capacitors we are having a control input voltage where this control input voltage is having the levels like v1 and v2 this control input is commonly applied to both the signal 2 and signal 1 control input is commonly applied to both signal 1 and signal 2 see what we are doing here is we are combining these two signals whatever the signal positive or negative because both the directions are connected in the forward bias condition diode then these two signals are joined together and then we are taking the output signal v0 so from this what we can understand is when the diode when the input control signal when vc nothing but control voltage is at v1 at v1 means this highest peak okay 
see here yeah, this v1 and v2 are maybe positive voltages or they may be negative voltages but what we are assuming is when the input voltage is at v1 diode is said to be in on state when the v, uh, input voltage is at v2 diode is said to be in off state this same rule can also be applicable with the negative polarities minus v1 and minus v2 when input to control signal is at minus v1 then the diodes are said to be in on state and in the remaining case it is in off state so in such a way we are treating it so when vc is at v1 then diodes are on remaining cases diodes are off diodes are off see here we are giving a signal here and we are giving one more signal here so these two signals are mixed with this single control signal i am giving a single control input that control signal is going to this one and as well as this one depending upon the time period the portion of the input signal will be transmitted to the output because this gating pulse has a time period tg or tp we can say whatever it is this tg will switch on this diodes d1 and d2 only in that particular duration remaining periods they are in off state and there is no output so whenever the diodes are said to be non state because of the application of this v1 voltage then the input will be transmitted to the output okay what is the problem with this kind of structure as long as the number of inputs increases i said already the number of inputs is equal to the number of diodes okay but what how many number of diodes we are using how many number of signals we are using but we have to use only a single control input as a common okay then as the number of inputs increases number of signals will come number of diodes will come because as each and every diode is operated with a separate source there is no concept of loading effect in this particular diode but see here the control signal is coming from a different source that is applied to these two as there are two inputs if i am changing it to i am connecting one more input signal then i have to use a resistor and then uh, output is uh, the input of the diode is connected to the control signal as well to control that and as long as the number of inputs increases there will be a highest impact on this control signal because load, because of loading effect so as the number of inputs increases as the number of inputs increases then what happens the number of input signals to the control voltage also increases what happens then this leads to this leads to a concept of loading in the where we are having this loading effect in the control signal okay that means as the number of inputs increases there will be a division for the input voltage of the controlled voltage there, there will be a division among all these number of inputs okay suppose if you are having 10 number of input signals 10 number of diodes are there 10 number of capacitors are there there is no problem but for 10 number of resistors and this connection has to be handled by this particular control signal generator okay so these two are coming together and we will be having output now to avoid this loading effect we are just replacing the circuit by taking a single control input signal like in the first case see here in the first case from here everything is common okay in the first first diagram just in the previous class i have explained you we are having a capacitor followed by a diode and then load resistor okay here we are extending the same connection with two more diodes to select the number of inputs okay so 
what is the difference between the previous one and this one is the control signal is separated and we are we are connecting a single voltage source but the, uh, where we have in the previous case we are having two uh, control voltages and they have to be in the two control one control voltage with two connections and they may be increased depending upon the number of uh, uh, input signals that may be connected together okay now see here control voltage vc is given directly connected to the input of the diode so depending upon the type of diode selection either d1 or d2 then the signal will be coming to this point and then we will be uh, adding with this control signal the diode comes into on share and it will be transmitted during off period that i during there is no signal vc then the diode comes into off state and there is no output okay so this one is a two input gate in which the signal sources do not load the control signal ultimately we should not give any loading effect on that particular control signal okay another way is there which is also a different way unidirectional gate which delivers an output only at coincidence of number of control voltages see here number of control voltages i am increasing but here we have to keep in mind that when the diodes d1 d2 d3 these three diodes when diodes d1 d2 d3 are switched on if any one of this particular diodes is switch on the input from this capacitor will reach this junction and automatically choose this ground path okay this operation executes and it did not perform well like uh, input will be transmitted to the output if and only if the diodes d1 d2 and so on dn must be in off state if any of these diodes is in on state then the input will be turned in that way and it goes to the ground okay here also we are using a control voltage with the negative polarities minus v1 minus v2 and then diodes some somehow diode at any, uh, at any time it one may come switch on at that time the entire input voltage may be grounded okay it is opposite case of the previous cases so this is about unidirectional diode gate to account to accommodate more than one input signal to accommodate more than one input signal thank you